Hey everybody, it's AJ here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you five different ways to work with hyperlinks in Microsoft Outlook. So let's go and grab a hyperlink off the internet. I've got a YouTube page here on how to connect your phone and PC to a Teams call. I'm simply gonna grab the address bar and copy that in. And now I'm gonna jump over to a new email in Microsoft Outlook. In Outlook, you have a few different ways of putting this email into the body. The first one, which is the most obvious one, is just control V and pasting it in. And this is a little link that people can click on to open up that link you've sent them. But if you, instead of going control V, you right click instead, you get a little dialogue option and down the bottom here, you have three different pasting options. The first one is to keep your source formatting. So this is gonna, if you copied it from a web page or a different link, um, this is gonna keep the source formatting of how that person had actually published it. So it could be a different font, could be larger font. The second link is your merge formatting option, which is gonna take that link and make it look the same as the rest of your Microsoft Outlook email. And the, f the third option is keep text only. So when you go keep text only, you can actually see here that instead of giving you the name of that channel like we have up the top here, it actually gives you the entire video link. If you select on the last character of that link and then press spacebar, it also turns that link into a hyperlink. So there are three ways to paste the hyperlink into your Outlook email, but there are a few more because sometimes you don't wanna paste in the really long name or the really long address bar. You wanna simply have a, a word or a button that says link or click here or anything like that. So if you wanna use something like, like this, all you gotta do is type in the word link or click here. And what you wanna do is highlight the area you wanna turn into a hyperlink. So I've selected click here. And if I right click and go down the bottom to where it says link, I get the option to add in an address or a hyperlink, which I'm gonna simply right click and paste in. And that's gonna be the hyperlink from the URL. I go, okay. And now when it says click here, that is gonna take me straight to that YouTube what is that? page or that hyperlink we just added. The other way to do this as a shortcut is instead of having to right click and go down to link, select the text that you wanna hyperlink. So I'm gonna select the word link here. On your keyboard shortcut, press Control and K and it's gonna launch the same insert hyperlink dialog box where you can simply just right click and paste it in and hit okay. And you'll see the word link is now turned into a hyperlink. So there you guys have it. There's five different ways to easily work with hyperlinks in Microsoft Outlook. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're in a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.